Hello and welcome to Andy's Cornish Creations. My name is Andy Paramore and in this video we're going to be turning this log into a, a very simple stylized bird. Here I'm drilling a hole for my uh, worm screw to fix it to the lathe. There's a, gonna, there's a hole in the centre and there's a hole 20 millimetres away from the centre, about halfway between the centre and the outside is uh, about right, depending on the size of um, log you've got. Here, I'm just uh, screwing the off centre hole into the worm screw because I'm going to be doing the head and neck first before turning the uh, lower half of the body. After the uh, after the head's done. Bringing up the tool rest, just checking that, uh, that it'll turn without hitting the tool rest. And then just turning it slowly and then I'll bring up the tail stock just to give it some extra support because it is uh, it is off center. So there's a lot of force wanted to throw it at you. The speed up to about 500 and I'm using my 3 8 spindle gouge to turn it down. Nice light cuts because you're cutting air. Here, once I'm reaching a bit far away from the tool rest, and my uh, spindle gouge uh, is not a very heavy-duty one, so I've got the uh, I've got the um, carbide cutter, which has got a much thicker uh, stem on it to do the reaching over and hogging out the wood. Now, because I can get the tool rest a little bit closer, I'm back to the spindle gouge. I'm just starting to create the shape, getting coming down to the diameter of the head, which will, is about an inch. an inch in diameter, that way it would be an inch high, and that way you can have a nice circular shape. So bringing down the neck now, keep checking it, have a look, see if everything's looking, looking okay. So using the bowl gouge just here because I wanted to reach it, reach over a little bit again. That's nearly where I want it now. And here I'm using the round scraper, it's one inch round scraper just to try and get a nice smooth curve on it the better cut you can get now and the less sanding you have to do later Take the tailstock support away and I'm unscrewing it now and I'm going to put it on the central hole so I can turn the 
the body. The worm screw that I've got mounted on the uh, on the headstock there, it's uh, I'm not sure what you call it actually, but uh, it's a really handy little tool. But you could just do it do it just as easily with the uh, with the worm screw on a chuck. Uh, it'd work just as well. I'm turning the body down to round. Again, I'm using the 3 8 spindle gouge. I'm just turning it down now until it until it's roughly in line with the with the neck at the front there. You can see it's you're turning air, so you've got to keep checking it. I've got the thin parting tool, just marking where the bottom is going to be. This is where the a couple of lines just to show where the uh, sort of stylized feet are going to be. It's very simple. Before I go any further, I'm going to finish off the head and the neck. I'll just now that the tail stops out of the way. I'll just turn the top of the head and then I can sand the, uh, the head and neck and get it all finished before I uh, continue with the body. I'm punching a little hole for where the beak's going to go and, and drilling it with a I think it's a six millimeter drill bit. I like to drill the hole before I finish sanding because it gives me the opportunity to sand off any any tear out that you get from the drill. So I've sanded it down to 400 grit from 120. And now I'm applying some abrasive paste. So you buff it up and then remove any excess paste and it should leave you with a decent shine. So it's back onto the central hole. finish off shaping the body. use my uh, slightly more pointy spindle gouge to get into the uh, into the edge there. 
sand it up to 400 again and then applying the abrasive paste wipe off any excess and then I've uh, got some French polish just popping a bit of French polish on to give it a nice shine Put a bit on the head and neck as well. And now I'm parting it off at the base. Just undercutting it slightly so that uh, so that it sits nicely and uh, on a flat surface. And because it's off centre, I decided to not to catch it or try to catch it. Well, I'm parting it off, but sew it off with a saw, and then I can finish off the bottom afterwards. Yeah, me too turning the beak, it's just a piece of uh, pine dowel, turning it with the uh, 3 8 spindle gouge that's uh, got a finer grind on it. A bit of black marker pen and I do put a bit of, uh, put a bit of CA glue on this just to uh, try and give it a, uh, a harder surface a bit of activator there just to set it quicker it's a little bit the surface on it's not very good so I just went over it with a uh, with a piece of wet and dry just to smooth off the surface Party tough. And that should pop in there nicely. I'll just take the opportunity to thank anybody that's uh, bought me a coffee recently. It's not expected, but uh, much appreciated. And also, there's the uh, super thanks at the bottom as well. Uh, uh, for anybody that wants to support my channel I just punch a couple of holes in for the eyes and to keep it really simple I'm just going to use a, a marker pen just to put a bl bit of black into those uh, holes which actually turns out to be more difficult than I thought it were going to be <laughs> but uh, you get the idea And that's about it really. I will uh, I'll shut up now and hand you over to me. Okay, so there we have it. Um, quite a simple little project really. Uh, just a couple of things to get your head round as to where to put the holes in the base. So one in the centre well, this is what I did. One in the centre and one about 20 mil, or three quarters of an inch, uh, away from that hole. The, um, uh, the dimensions of the piece are, um, it's about five inch tall, which is about uh, 125 mil. Um, two and a half inches wide, 65 mil. And um, the head, the diameter of the head is about 25 uh, millimeters or an inch. Uh, but just make it suit whatever piece of wood you've got, basically. 
put your holes on the bottom and you're uh, you're pretty much good to go. Um, I was a little bit confused as to whether to turn the head part first or the bit of the body or you know sort of both at the same time. I think actually you could probably just turn the whole head and neck first and then it would give you a good idea where to take your body down to. You certainly can't turn the body any more than up to that point because as soon as you come round anymore you start to go into where your uh, where your neck is and, uh, and it doesn't work out. I, I made that mistake on a, uh, on a sort of a test piece. But yeah, very simple, very stylized. Um, I turned a little uh, piece of doweling into a, a little beak and, uh, and uh, made it black. Just put a couple of little holes for the eyes. Just about, just about see that. There you go. And uh, and just used a little sharpie marker pen just to highlight them. But yeah. Fun, fun little project. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, share. Um, leave me a comment if you would, and uh, and I'll uh, I do like to read them, and I'll reply to them as soon as I can. Um, yeah, and uh, I might um, on this one. I might put my uh, email address on. And if you would, um, if you've done any of these, uh, a lot, I've had a lot of comments saying that they've made uh, made the little animals that I've done, and uh, and it'd be really great if I could um, if I could see some pictures of any that you guys out there have done as well. So uh, so I'll put that I'll put that up, and if you if you fancy sending a picture, and uh, just put a little note on the side of it, and uh, uh, just allowing me to. Uh, show it on uh, on a video perhaps in the future uh, without any personal details but uh, but just showing a, a picture and your your first name um yeah that'd be good and uh, anyway my name's andy paramore this is andy's cornish creations hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one goodbye